Okay, so I did some more research on the, the game. First of all, we have some things uh, off. On to our player, first of all. When you are getting up, you do not jump like this. So let's fix that. Basically, just going to set this back to zero. And what he should do, it should be just like this. Okay. Uh, that's for when you get up from the front. Let's do this from the back. And I think we might need to take care of both of those cases. Okay, something like this. And let's see, maybe have it here. No, this one is correct. Okay. Knockdown should hurt the same. So now, when we need to do this uh, the same on the enemies, but the enemies are already getting up in the same place. Now, the enemies, especially this uh, kind of enemies, only get four hits on normal or, or easy difficulty, and then they die. Okay. Uh, however, they still play the knockdown and they get up. If uh, if you attack them with the sidekick attack, okay, the rest will stay the same. So let's do that. Let's add them some health. And we already have some health. So we're going to make each hit make for uh, 10 damage. Okay, the way to do this, of course, will be to pass from the action data to pass the damage amount. Okay, so on hit when somebody attacks and let's give it some base value at least. Let's see. Still want to play all of these. Of course, if it's uh, if it's killing them, we're going to, to hard code the damage type to heavy. Okay, so let's save the damage type. Let's do damage type, damage type, and then we're going to say action data damage type. On our health, we're going to remove the damage or the action data dot damage if health now is lower than zero or equals to zero then damage type will be hard coded to heavy okay then we need to set up a flag on our animator that the unit is dead so let's do animator hook let's do it from the animator hook and let's do public void set is dead anim set bool is dead to true and in here we're going to do animator hook dot that is dead or we could just say public void is dead or set is dead because we're going to need a few more things that we have to do so put that there and set is dead we need to have a flag for this of course that public bool is dead because if you're dead you're not doing anything so let's set this up in here is dead equals true then on the let's do the ai first because we don't really care uh, for the player right now so the thing is with the ai he's going to stay here and he's going to be playing the root motion always so we could just do if unit controller dot is dead or actually we could just do an or in here 
and it will just play his root motion. Okay, so let's go try this. But first, let's go fix the animations for these guys. Hold the animator better. Let's go to the thug. Then we have the get up, we have the knockdown. And from the knockdown, to be able to go to the get up, you should not be dead. Uh, oops, that's a layer. Let's add the parameter. Okay. Then in here, is dead, should be false. Otherwise, it will just stay forever here. Then. On our unit controller, we only have one attack, so we're going to set us, going to set this to damage uh, ten. Okay, then for each of these guys, let's set their damage to zero because they're not doing anything to us, and we're just going to set this to forty. And yeah, we have the damage. Too heavy, so it will have them jump. Now, another thing that I want to fix is their speed. And I think he's not dying. Yeah, he's minus 100. So I think we're doing something wrong there. And so let's open this up and then on our unit controller. I think this probably never plays. Mm. Okay, so let's put some breakpoints. That's it. I'm going to close one enemy because we want to make sure what's happening. Oh. Uh, one more thing, we are not using the damage type, the actual damage type. We are not overwriting it, so it will just uh, loop back and it, it won't have him play anything else. And we are also able to change his... Uh, to affect his damage, his animation. Because his collide collision is open. Yeah. So now he's dead. Okay. And I can't hit him. We should close his damage collisions over there. Okay. So we're pretty much dead. Uh, we should do the same thing for our player as well. So. Let's add, oops, no trigger. That here, and then he's only going out of the state if he's not dead. Okay, then we can go onto their animation and just close their damage collisions. While they are here, I'm going to do, I'm going to disable the health box. And I think he's going a little bit too slow. So we can change this on the curves. You can find his position. You can see that. It's not ideal. Should be something like this, but first we need to um, free it up. It goes something like this. Then we can actually delete this one and control it. 
from this too. Now this kind of wrong will be something like this, something like this. And I, I'd even make it even higher. Let's see. Mm, maybe we need to have one over there. Let's see. Now that's for a linear. Mm, let's do it as a free. Yeah, I think we might need to have one over here. And then we both tangents as linear. Actually, not linear. As free. We'll set it up a little bit. That's a bit too much. But yeah, that's better. I think I'm not going to do this on all the other attacks, on all the other animations that have the knockdown, mainly for Mikey. So. Okay, we now have a basic uh, logic just for an AI that can attack us, which of course is something we want to have. And then, of course, bring it up. Now, what I want to change is first of all, their attacks should just be light because they only have light uh, attack. Then, let's fix their speed. And one way to do that will be on the AI handler. We are passing 